Uh, welcome back. It is day two, well technically day three of the weekly vlog. Yesterday I took the entire day off and did absolutely nothing. And today I am literally paying for it. I'm, I sound like this because my allergies are acting up. Um, I am literally paying for it because I have been spending literally all day, you guys, working on purging things from my house. So every year I like to do a spring clean of like all the things from winter and even just spring stuff that I haven't actually worn and just get them all out and either sell them or give them to Goodwill. So I literally have been doing that all day. Let me just show you what it is that I have right now. So these two bags right here are full of stuff that's going to Goodwill and I have a feeling that there's even more stuff to come. This rack here is full of all of the items that I am actually going to sell on Poshmark, including um, some stuff that I'm actually gonna give away to my niece. And then also like some, a couple pairs of shoes and a couple bags. I do have more bags that I need to go through, but I just, I can't. <laughs> I just, I can't. It took so long today, you guys, to get through this stuff and I'm like, I'm I'm tired like I need an assistant to come up here and like help me because it's a lot so I'm gonna do this in spurts but right now this is everything of what I have and then if that's not enough I still have stuff that I've pulled out of my closet in my bedroom to actually put on my clothing rack for the stuff that I normally wear like day to day and stuff that I shoot so let me just show you that please don't mind the mess because it is a hot mess in here so this is my clothing rack of all of the items that I am actually wearing throughout, you know, the seasons and all that stuff. And then this is still the pile of clothes that still need to be put on this rack. Um, so that way I can clear up this space. But I'm telling you, like, it was a lot worse um, even just an hour ago. So there's still a lot more stuff to do today. I did actually say that I'm going to actually try on those out of go shoes with you today and we're gonna go ahead and do that. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and eat really quick because I have not eaten all day. <laughs> I literally haven't and I hate clutter. So I really just wanna get as much stuff out of here as I possibly can. Um, but I did say we're gonna try on the shoes. So you know what, let's just go ahead and do it right. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and try on these out of go shoes. Let me just grab the box real quick. So. This is the Atico um, box that I actually showed you guys, not yesterday, but the day before. And the shoes, if you, if you don't remember what they look like, let me refresh your memory. I don't know how you could forget because they're so gorgeous, but these are the shoes all over again. I will find the name of the shoe, and of course, obviously I'm gonna link them down below, but let's just go ahead and try them on because I am so excited to actually see how these feel on my feet. So we're gonna try them both on, on carpet and then also on a solid surface. I did get them, oh my gosh, you guys, my battery, not my battery, my SIM card, my SD card actually ran out of space as I was trying on these shoes with you. So we're gonna do this round two, but Here's a shoe. I got this in my normal size of a 37. Um, and the shoes actually run by Italian sizes. So 37 in Italian sizes is an actual size seven. Okay, so these are the shoes on carpet. And I have to say, I am loving just how sexy they are. They look so good, you guys. Oh my God, especially with my um, orange nail polish too. They feel comfortable so far. Okay, let's take them over and test them out on hardwood real quick. Okay, so far on hardwood, they feel good. There's definitely a little bit of cushion on this, um, the sole, which is good. I could definitely walk for a little bit in these shoes. These are not long walking shoes, I can tell that already. The strap in the front, um, definitely feels a little tight, but it could just be because the leather is very new. So that may actually loosen up over time. But yeah, for the most part, they're good. 
Okay, so overall first impressions of the shoes. I love them. I love, love, love them. Um, these are definitely not shoes that I would actually wear when I'm coming close to my period or even on my period just because I can tell that, I don't know about you guys, but like when I'm coming on that time of the month, my feet get really puffy. And so wearing these shoes, my feet will hurt. But any other time of the year, I'm, or any time of the year, any other time of the month, I'm good. Like I can definitely wear these. They are super sexy summer shoes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. There's like so many things I can already see myself actually wearing with them. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is do a spring shoe styling video and include these ones as well. So you have to turn in, you have to come back and actually see that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually take these babies off, finish cleaning up around here. There's really not a whole lot much left going on for me today, to be very honest. I wanted to come back on here and actually share with you guys the official try-on of the Attico shoes. So I will definitely link them down below for you guys. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye guys.